All right, so what I want to do is I want to try to uh, get the tube up here. Now, this should fit uh, over here without any problem, but I'm catching a bird right there. Oh, yeah, see, and they're manufacturing the bolt that gets just a little wider up there from them squishing the... Uh, the head it's not a cut bolt they didn't turn this on a lathe or anything they uh, put a piece of bar stock in and just you know when it was red hot molten they squished the head down and and uh, shaped it that way so uh, there's a little distortion in the uh, shaft there and I'm not sure I want to get that stuck on there just yet yeah maybe it won't matter let's see here so what I was thinking about doing is maybe instead of uh, uh, putting it down with the the nuts and that stuff, I'm thinking maybe I'll tap it with a hammer and see if we uh, where we go. The fact that the bolt runs all the way down through the next one helps uh, keep it aligned and everything. So let's see what it does. The, that first drop was the the tube uh, running up the shaft there. I've got it sitting on a socket there to uh, oh, take the end of the bolt coming in. So, and that'll work that way. So, well, let's try that without it. Let's see. It's just a lot more slop there, but I can kind of hold it. This will be one dirt cheap uh, bushing press if uh, this actually works. So, I guess that, that's working real nice. Uh, I'll need to make this tube uh, at least a quarter inch longer. I've got just a just a little bit more there to go. So for right now, I'm just going to do that. I'll make a longer tube and uh, I may try that again on the other uh, one. So uh, what I want to see, let's uh, stop this video and, well, let's keep going. YouTube's better about longer videos. Have to, I can just upload one and walk away for a while. So, okay, when you put the new bushings in, the zert fitting here, you want to pay attention to which way the hole goes. Okay, and the fact that the hole is not centered top to bottom basically tells you which way the bushing has to go. Okay, obviously that's not going to work. So that tells you that this is the top of the spindle, this is the top of the bushing. Um, and you want to make sure that it stays lined up with that hole so that when it's pressed in there, uh, you can sque squeeze uh, grease in. So, the big question is, let's see, we got, and we still got a little clearance there, so I can get it started doing this, maybe, we'll see, without, uh, without having to put it up on something. Uh, Having it on a vise or a bigger block or something like that with the, uh, a hole in it would uh, make it a little easier than standing it on the uh, socket. So, let's see here. Oh, yeah, that's not what I want to happen. So that split it. Don't want that happening. So now what I'm going to have to do <laughs> is cut another one of these since this is stuck on here. Uh, I may cut this one off too. Um, I'm going to have to make another tube, put it in there, get this popped out before uh, that gets uh, any more damaged and uh, we'll go from there.